Entitled mother blames me and my friends for her kid hurting himself. This happened when I was about 10 or 11. Me and my friends were on a bouncy castle outside a pub and were playing some games like kids do. The kid asked if he could play with us and we said okay. But well, during this game the kid decided to jump off the bouncy castle and hurt himself. He walked off and we thought since it was his fault we wouldn't get in trouble. Five minutes later he comes up to us with entitled mother. My son got hurt playing your game. Yes, but he hurt himself doing something that wasn't part of the game. In touch, mother. I don't care. I'm not going to allow you to play those stupid games anymore. Do some proper bouncing. Since we were kids, we didn't want to talk back to the EM, but we probably could have said something as she didn't work there or anything. Entitled mother tried to get me kicked out of school for constantly being sick. When I was in fifth grade, I had fevers constantly, every other week actually. I had to stay home from school. Whenever I got back, I caught up on work and it was like nothing happened. One day after getting back from a sick day, the kid beside me started to gag at me. I told him to stop, but he didn't. I punched him in the arm. The kid went into a full-blown meltdown, saying he was going to die. He ran out of the classroom to the nurse's office, where apparently the nurse called his mother to come pick him up. He came back to class to get his stuff, and right when he was just back to the door, the short woman comes in and asks her son who, which kid punched him. He pointed at me. The EB came over and screamed at me. She threatened to get me kicked out. She ran to the principal and told him I needed to be kicked out. Of course, the principal, being a really cool guy, asked her why. When she explained, he laughed at her and told her to leave. A few days later, the kid comes in and he sits down beside me. I gave him a shit-eating grin while he glared at me. This is how I dodged being affected by an EB. My girlfriend's parents took all her money from her card without letting her know. Touch was it all, really. She had 1,300 and her parents have taken it all by taking her card from her purse when she was out, using the excuse, we're family, it's all our money. She says she's scared to argue with them or do anything and that she feels bad, but it's so fucked up to work for months to have that ripped away from you. I told her to tell the bank, but she refuses. <sighs> Daughter told to burn herself. I haven't heard this first hand, but my entitled mother, maybe a different story, told me about this and it scared me a lot. Little backstory, my mum is a flight attendant and has had many instances of crazy people and such. But this one surprised her the most. Sweet kid, mum, entitled mum. So mum was on the flight like normal when she was helping out this little kid. Get comfortable because she was alone on the flight and seemed sad. She gave her wiki sticks, bendy things and crowns and paper. She seemed happier but at the end of the flight she started crying. Keep in mind Kay was probably eight or so. Mother and other flight attendants started consoling her and asking what was wrong. Kate ended up telling mother and others that her mum, entitled mother, told her to burn herself on the airplane so entitled mother could sue the airline. Mother was pissed and called Child Protective Services and they came and assessed Kay. Ian was in later in court and I think she lost custody of Kay. If she's not an Olympic level skier on her first day, it's the ski's fault. So I'm not sure if this lady would be considered entitled, so I hope this is okay. I was at a ski lodge in Canada, fairly busy in a long line to the lifts. I was waiting for my friend who was still getting the, their boots on when I saw a lady who looked more like a grandmother than a mother, now that I think about it. I thought she was waiting for a skier, perhaps a friend or a husband, but then I see a little girl heading very cautiously down a big slope. She looked to be about eight, and what made it worse was that she was alone. So she spots the lady and kind of walked up in a snow shoeing motion. This lady pulled the skis off her boots, almost breaking them, throws them on the ground and proceeds to stomp on them repeatedly and very aggressively. That did the job, they looked totaled. After all that, ski abuse. She yells at the kid in a language I couldn't understand and proceeds to return the skis to the rental shop. She's eight lady, not an Olympic skier.